God, no. I love. Is this on? I love Hack to Jack. I love Hack to Jack. Because it's helped me play better. It helps me play better. Feel better. Does this camera make my calves look bigger? Meet some great people. Meet some great, great people. This is fun. This is fun. Now this, this right here, this is fun. This is Hack to Jack. Is Hack to Jack. Hack to Jack. This is Hack to Jack. Hello again. In this episode, we take a break from the teen competition to check in and see how contestants are shaping up their bodies. Plus, we'll give you an inside look at the practice aids that are helping them go from hack to jack. The, you know, we got some good players here. Some people are already making the transition into jack. We're still in the hack phase, but you know, we're getting we're, we're pushing the limit. Yak with the with the Y. We're on the border. There. We're on the border. <laughs> <laughs> Just been Working at it, and yeah, now yeah, I'm, you've been putting really yeah. killer, man. You made putting. that like 50 uh, foot putt. Yep. On the longest putt competition, you've been. Yeah. You've been money. This is brand new from Nike. Um, it's literally my first day with it, and I could not be more pleased. There's a 360 yard par four, and I was pin high, so that it, uh, it made me happy. Yeah! See that, see that little white ball out there in the middle of the fairway? That's you? That's me. Some people call me Maurice. Because I speak of the pompatus of love. Let's play golf. A big part of contestants playing better is getting in shape enough to have the strength and endurance to take their game to the next level. Before Hack to Jack, many of the contestants told us that aches and pains limited their ability to practice or play as much as they would like. Some said they would just run out of gas by the end of a round. Let's see how the fitness part of the program is taking them from slack to jacked. So we're doing three cone agility drill, doing an uh, endurance shuttle drill, we're doing vertical jump and we're doing med ball toss. They were here before and then, so that was their pre-test before, now they're doing their post-test after so we can see their improvement now. People are breaking records, playing unbelievably, hitting the ball further, so I think fitness is the key to not only swinging the club faster but more consistently. All right, so we're here at Twin Cities Orthopedics, and Scott, congratulations. Of all the final assessments tonight, you improved the most. Uh, your golf score increased over 20 points, so did that surprise you, or what did you You know, I, I had a good feeling that it was gonna be a lot better. I just feel lighter, quicker, stronger, and you know, I, I knew something good was gonna happen. Well, good job. Uh, you got a special kudos from the physical therapist here, so uh, keep up the great work, and we can't wait to see you in the finale. Thanks. You know, I flex right now, but I kinda like this shirt. I don't wanna rip it. One thing every PGA Tour professional has in common is that they all use practice aids to help them improve. We considered hundreds of different options for use on the show. Here are the ones that made the cut and that are shaving strokes off the contestant scorecards. Loving the new things to try out for uh, new tool-wise, the new PSP and the click. So it's been a lot of fun trying to do, uh, changing my swings a little bit. As you come through your motion, yep. You get three clicks. I've used it a couple times. It's uh, it's really nice. It is incredibly accurate. Oh, the yeah. swing click, yeah. Oh, yeah, we love the I swing mean, click so much. I mean, they're a, we use it all the time. They're a handy little device they that make you feel handy. like you're really bad at swinging a club <laughs> right away. It really breaks you down. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. You back up. That's it. Yep. That's it. Uh, I've used the uh, PSP training club, which is really cool. I like that a lot. It helps you kind of dial in the sweet spot of your club. <laughs> some people playing some. Some pig with the converter holes over there, that's always fun. And I'm more worried about uh, hitting the range than my PSP. This has been my favorite training aid by far. We got a mat and we got a net at home, so that's been helping out a lot too. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect because like that net sets up really in any kind of grassy area. We are at Perfect Swing Golf Academy in Plymouth, Minnesota, and we are testing out the new Robo Golf Pro. The Robo Golfer really, really made an impression on me because these guys tell you to do this, do that, but that actually may have had you feel what to do, and that was that was that was pretty amazing. I've actually gained over 36 yards in distance from that machine last night. I absolutely kid you not, uh, it was all in my hips, so it was a huge increase in power for me. Uh, I can't wait to go back. It would be nice to have the perfect swing Robo Golf okay. machine here right before I tee off. Just yes. get me on plane. Yeah, Mike. Run it. We've got uh, Blast Motion uh, here from uh, California, and um, 
they uh, make these really cool sensors that um, attach to the to the end of the grip, and we're measuring um, your and we're measuring how long it takes him to complete his backswing. Got that tonight, um, Brian from Blast Golf. Uh, went over how to use it and um, so I've been pitting it tonight and then I'll download all the information on my iPhone. I'm not a giant analytics guy, but I like the tempo part of it for putting. That's really cool. I like that. As the pounds are dropping, so are the scores. In our next episode, we'll bring you final interviews with how the program is improving the contestants' games and lives and set the stage for the finale event where one team will take home the grand prize and be immortalized as the Hack to Jack Season 2 winner. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. I am. Hack to Jack. 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 Hack to Jack. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. Hack to Jack. Boom. Uh, the last question I have yeah. for you, and only you're going to see this, you get to edit all this stuff. Right, right. Who's your pick today for, for this fin uh, finale? You know, I think the obvious favorite is Scott Golf. <laughs> you hear that? Scott Golf.